Fritz Lang's reputation in America during the period when he was making Ministry of Fear was a very problematic one. In Hollywood of the 1940s, most filmmakers were making some kind of uh, anti-Nazi film uh, or a film about the war in the Pacific. It was simply expected, I think, of most filmmakers. Uh, in the case of Lang, making anti-Nazi films was especially urgent because of uh, his past. He claims that Goebbels invited him to his office and at that point offered him control of the entire Nazi film industry. Goebbels also told him that they would be willing to overlook the fact that Lang was half Jewish in order to have him be in control of the Nazi film industry. Lang says that he told Goebbels he would think it over. He went home that night instead, packed his bags, left for Paris, and never returned. And this was the official version of why Lang left Germany when he did and why he did for many, many years. Uh, it wasn't until after Lang died that people began doing some research into this, began examining his passport records and so on, and began to uh, discover that in fact, that even though of course he did leave Nazi Germany, he didn't leave in quite the way that he claimed that he in fact went back and forth for many, many weeks and traveled to other countries as well, went to Austria, went to Belgium, I think went to England at one point. So um, among the things, there is this uncertainty about Lang's uh, Americanness and his loyalty to democracy uh, in Hollywood uh, in this period. So making anti-Nazi films is one way of uh, demonstrating that in fact uh, he is not a Nazi at all, he was never a Nazi, and that he's firmly committed to uh, democracy and uh, to American values. You also have to understand that most of Lang's great German films, if they were shown here at all, they were shown in a heavily truncated form. Uh, even M had been somewhat abridged for its American release. So the enormity of Lang's achievement was simply not uh, experienced by most filmmakers, by most critics at the time.